One of the most problematic groups there in ornithology are the large flightless birds. The moa is the, was the tallest of the large flightless birds. It's found in New Zealand. The kiwi is found in New Zealand too. The uh, cassowary and emu are found in Australia. The ostrich is found in Africa, and the rios are found in South America. As you can see, these birds are very widely distributed across the world, and there's no obvious land bridges how these large flightless birds could have actually spread from one place to another. And that's why for early ornithologists, it was, they were a real difficulty, and many ornithologists didn't think they were closely related to each other. But in the last 30 years, a lot of DNA markers have actually indicated that they are, in fact, each other's closest relative. One of the projects we did here at the Royal Ontario Museum is we sequenced the complete mitochondrial genome from every single one of these birds, or a representative of every single one of these birds, and from two extinct moas. We reconstructed their family tree, and using molecular dating, worked back to when their common ancestor was. And their common ancestor existed something like 80 to 90 million years ago, when all the continental fragments you see now were joined as a supercontinent called Gondwana. And as Gondwana broke up, and the fragments such as Africa and South America broke away, the large flightless birds that were on them rafted away with the land masses and then evolved into their modern forms.